friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. Today we're gonna get spooky and I'm gonna show you the things that I've picked up so far for this year for fall and Halloween. I've gone to lots of different stores, picked up lots of different things. I'm surprised at the amount of things that are around me actually. I love Halloween so much and every single year I always want to buy decorations and decorate my apartment, but I feel like every year, the past few years, ever since we've been living on our own, something always comes up around this time of year that prevents me from doing so, but this year, Nothing has stopped me, so I have indulged in Halloween, basically. I'm not gonna go in any particular order. I do have a couple things that are strictly fall, but I mostly bought Halloween things. I'm just gonna run through this really quick. If the price tag is still on it, I will let you know where I got it from, and the price tag, if I don't know, I just won't know. This first item is from Marshalls. It is just this cute stack of ghosts. I love them. This was $14.99, and I just think they're really cute. I'm gonna put this outside my door. Also from Marshalls, this guy is $12.99, and I love him so much. He reminds me a lot of the little sack boy from the movie Trick or Treat, if any of you have seen that. I know this is not a sack boy, but he just reminds me of him with his little pumpkin stick and his little outfit. He's just so spooky and cute and I love him. I don't know where I'm gonna put him yet, but I love him. I actually just went to TJ Maxx slash Home Goods this morning and I grabbed this tablecloth. This was $12.99. I was gonna grab one that was more black based with little pops of orange on it, but my friend Nicole suggested I get this one because I'm already gonna have so much black decor in my apartment. So this will really tie everything together and be really cute and bright. I also grabbed this pair of kitchen towels this morning. It's just two cats <laughs> with little witch hats and a little pumpkin and they remind me of Felix and I think they're so cute. These were $6.99 and they're really good. They're actually really soft towels too. I think they're gonna work nicely. Also from this morning from TJ Maxx and Home Goods, I got this little bat platter. I freaking love this. This was $6.99 and I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I might put it on our coffee table just to be a cute little decorative dish. I'm not really sure, but I, it's gonna go somewhere. I freaking love it. The last thing I got from TJ Maxx and Home Goods this morning was this really cute bowl dish kind of thing. This was $7.99. I like the witch. I like the little gravestones and the little houses along the bottom. I don't know how well you can see that with my lights in here, but I think this is really cute. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet. I might fill it with just random little doodads that are Halloween related. I might put flowers in it. I might put a candle in it. I'm not really sure yet. I know this is gonna go on my dining room table though. I also stopped at the Dollar Tree this morning and I found this cute Happy Halloween sign, and you can't even see that because of what's going on around me, but it's just kind of sparkly and black, and it has writing that's really similar to Harry Potter, and I think it's cute. I don't know if I'm gonna hang this inside or outside yet, but it's going somewhere. I also grabbed these three little pumpkins from Dollar Tree, again, only a dollar, and I just think they're really cute and fun, and I like the little stripes and polka dots. Also, just because they have tons of it, I grabbed a couple things of the creepy cloth from Dollar Tree, just because this is always good to kind of hang on windows where there would be curtains or drape over counters and things like that, so it's always good to have stuff like this. We have this store called Tuesday Morning, and I grabbed this really cute guy right here. He has this really long hat with a bendy little bat on top, and he's just silver and kind of distressed looking, and I really, really enjoy him. And this was $19.99, and he lights up too. I don't know how you could see that but he just has a light inside so he glows a little bit. So he's gonna be really cute outside, I think. I've been shopping for Halloween stuff for a while now, so a lot of these I didn't even remember that I got. Like I have these cute mugs that I got at Marshalls. This one was $4.99 and this one was $3.99. This one just has a really cool spider and it's really big and this one is just a really, really cute bubbly, circly jack-o'-lantern, and I really enjoy him. I also got this mug from Dollar General. This was $2, and it's just a cute Charlie Brown Great Pumpkins cup with all the characters on it. I really love Charlie Brown. The Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown is one of the best Halloween episodes ever. Got a little bit of things from Michaels. Michaels has been the best for more gothic-y Halloween type things. But I got these jars. They don't actually open. They are sealed shut. But this one is potions and this one is spider venom. And I think this will be really cute on my coffee station. You know, that's what I was thinking. And I also got this one. This one is crushed skull dust. And this one actually does open. So I'm gonna actually clean this out and put my sweetener in it at the coffee station because that's gonna be really cute. Absol! Absol's playing in my tissue paper and bag, so I apologize for him, but I'm not gonna stop him. He's so happy right now. I got this guy from Tuesday morning too. I totally forgot that I got him. I think he's so cute and he lights up as well. I don't know how well you can see that, but he has different colors kind of glowing through him right now. But I love his little skull cape. I love his toothy little pumpkin. I just think he's so precious. I'm obsessed. I got this from Tuesday morning as well. This was $6.99 and these are cat string lights. They light up, but they just look like little cats. I don't know how well you can see that, but they're super cute. I don't know where in the world I'm gonna put them, but they are gonna be put somewhere. They're so cute. How many times am I gonna say so cute? 
take a shot every time I say so cute. Moving on, also from Michaels, we got this cool clock. This guy was $12.99. I just think he's super cool and Halloween-y and gothic, and I might even keep this guy up year-round. Just really, really enjoy him. And I think the last thing I got from Michaels is this $14.99 cat skeleton on this stack of books. I think he's really cute and I want to get more creepy looking books for decor, like more spell witchy looking books. I have this that I totally forgot that I bought. I must have bought this very end of summer when fall things started slowly rolling in, but I got this candle wreath from Ross, I think. This was $10 and it's really pretty. It doesn't really go with a lot of the things that I've talked about, but I think I'm going to try my best to incorporate the fall things I have with my Halloween things. We'll see how it goes. And the last things I have are all from Dollar General. First we have this one watt flickering light bulb. This was $1.50 and we're just gonna put it, I don't know where, but it's just gonna kind of flicker and look creepy. They had a bunch of these garland lights. I got purple and orange. I don't know how much these were, probably, three or five dollars, something like that. Well, this one's five dollars, so I'm gonna assume these were as well. And this one looks like a spider web and it can just go in the corner of a window and I think it's really, really cool. Oh, I guess I got creepy cloth from Dollar General too and these were also a dollar. So I have three more things of creepy cloth, so. And the very last thing I got is another more fall item. It's just a cute little distressed looking jar with a leaf on it and it has a little holder on the inside for a tea light so it will glow. Wow, that's annoying. So that's this. I will find a way to incorporate that somewhere because I really think it's adorable. So I guess that's everything for my Halloween and fall decor haul. I'm literally now just going to end this video, light some candles, make my house smell amazing, and start decorating. I will be in my absolute happy place. I love this time of year. I have my AC cranked down so it feels a lot colder because it's still like 90 degrees here in Florida, but we can pretend, right? It's the first week of September, so I am pulling everything out. I cannot wait any longer. Where do you guys like to shop for your Halloween decor? I still really need to check out Target. I went to Hobby Lobby this morning too, but their Halloween stuff wasn't on sale but their fall stuff was but I might go back this evening depending on what I still want to get. Let me know your favorite way to decorate for Halloween and fall. Let me know where you like to buy your thing. Feel free to send me pictures on Instagram and Twitter and stuff because I want to see your stuff. Let's chat about it. What do you think of what I got? Uh, I guess that's all I have to say. Like this video if you enjoyed this haul. I never do hauls but I thought this would be fun and it puts me in a good mood. I love talking about this stuff. If you haven't already please hop over to my Instagram. It's Butte Bean. Follow me there. I post every single day and don't forget to subscribe here before you leave. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Let me know what videos you want to see on my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Okay, bye!